Are you ready for an easy DIY costume? Get yourself some red and black clothes, some round glasses, and we're going to make together this Dr. Robotnik giant mustache. All you need is some fur trim, some pipe cleaners, belt, and some ear elastic. Let's get started. We are going to make a Dr. Robotnik mustache. So the first thing I've done is I got some tan colored felt. Felt doesn't ravel so you don't have to worry about the edges. And I cut a little rectangle and I've just for right now safety pinned on some ear elastic on each side. Now the first time that I did this I cut it too short so the ear elastic was a little bit too tight. So that's why it's currently safety pinned. You can kind of play around with it, get um, a rectangle that is big enough to go across to your ears and also skinny enough that you've got room to still breathe, pop, whatever you need to do. So this is what we're going to attach our big mustache to. I am going to go ahead and just hand stitch this elastic down on each end of the rectangle so that it's all nice and secure and then we'll get started on our mustache. Okay, now we're going to make our mustache that will attach to here. I've got pipe cleaner, and this is what I'm going to use to hold it stiff. I bought fur trim, so I bought it just exactly like this, so the edges are already finished, so I don't have to worry about raveling or any messiness, except for where I'm going to cut it off. Um, I'm going to cut it just a little bit longer than my pipe cleaner, so I'm going to make it as big as I can make it. Um, and then for the back, I've got some more just plain old tan felt and I'm going to cut a little strip just to stitch on the back of the fur. That'll be a little tunnel to hold the pipe cleaner to it. So let me cut my felt and I'll trim our fur and then we'll see how messy it looks. Alright, I cut my fur trim and it is actually not messy at all. So I'm not going to do anything to that edge. So I've got my fur trimmed down a little bit longer than my pipe cleaner. So now I'm going to take my strip of felt and I'm move my pipe cleaner out of the way. And I'm going to stitch all the way around and leave one edge open and we will slip the pipe cleaner down in that hole and then close it up. I've got my piece of felt stitched to the back of the fur and I slide my pipe cleaner in there. My 
the pipe cleaner is building up. So, this is a, see this? It's to turn straps so it's a little skinny. Um, metal rod, you could use a pencil too, but I'm going to use this to see if that'll help. Much easier. I think one pipe cleaner is enough. All right. Tuck my pipe cleaner down in there. I'm going to go ahead and close this end up. It may not be necessary, but let's just make sure that pipe cleaner doesn't come back out. Alright, so I've got my piece of fur with the pipe cleaner inside of it. I'm going to see if I can pinch the middle a little bit a little bit skinnier in the middle. I'm going to stitch that. If it doesn't work, it'll be fine. It'll just be wide all the way across. But let's try. I mean, just a little pinch, nothing fancy, just to bring it in a tiny bit on the center. Now I'm going to find my little base part I made earlier. I'm going to just tack the center of this right where I pinched it. And I only want to sew the middle little bit because I want my mustache to stick out, not to conform to the shape of my face. So I'm just going to stitch maybe just... Uh, like half an inch on either side. I got it stitched on one side of that center. I'm going to stitch it just right on the other side. It doesn't need to be neat, it just needs to hold together. I've got my giant mustache, add some round glasses, red and black gloves, and you're ready. Hope you enjoy. Check out some of our other videos to see more costume, crafts, and all kinds of fun ideas.